RFID is not a panacea. Mm -hmm. Even if we had the perfect RFID uh, reading tools and, and everybody had the, you know, the chip on every little thing, there are times when it's not going to work. If the tool breaks down, if it's in a place you don't expect, so you don't have a reader available. So this is a principle of communications. You always want to have a redundancy in there. So if the primary isn't working, you've got something else you can go to. And in this case, that go-to is going to be the printed label. It's going to be doing things beyond just code one GS1128 coding. It's going to be using data matrix. It's going to be use our QR code. It's going to be using digital link. It's going to be the idea of that label is not only reflecting what the RFID is, it's going to be giving you access to other information, not just about the products, but also about the provenance of them. What was the route they uh, came to from here? Uh, who did, who had touching on it? Um, what ship was it on? All of these things now start to become available through some of the more advanced uh, barcode in uh, symbologies. And you tie that and RFID together, you've got a very robust communication system 